Hello everybody, welcome to the OAGRC. I am Craig, thank you for stopping by. The winner of the last run out on the Orchard Race Zoe was the TTO2B Plasma Edge 2. Another finale winner in the past. Gold in 2022, and it's back in for 2024. Will it strike gold again? Don't know. You'll have to keep watching to find out. The finale is around the corner, but until we get there, we've got to go through vintage four-wheel drive RCs. Now, I don't think the vintage ones will be as quick, will they, as a modern four-wheel drive buggy? Let's see who we've got competing this season. Last season's Orchard Raceway winner. From one winner to another, the Tamiya Thunder Dragon chassis. Now, I think this one drives particularly well, actually. Uh, even though it's got a monoshock in the front, and you can still see there's a bit of dirt on there, um, it does surprisingly well. And this one is in a non-standard X-Wing variant, complete with R2-D2. Uh, and, well, do you know what? An Orchard Raceway winner it is. You should never, ever count an ex-Orchard Raceway winner out on the track. Pedigree is pretty high in the vintage four-wheel drive class because last year, the Tamiya Hotshot finished third. Now, many of you will know, this was the car that I dreamed of as a boy. This is one I wanted, and it was very graciously gifted to the channel by the RC Elf. And this particular, I mean, look at those gold wheels, look at the light shines off that, fantastic. One of my all-time faves. Another mono shock at the front. This one just speaks RC buggy to me. When I think of an RC buggy, this is the first thing I think of. Can it do its thing out on the Orchard Raceway in 2024? Another vintage four-wheel drive masterpiece is the Kyosho Optima Mid. Built this last year. This is gonna be its first outing out on the Orchard Raceway, a rookie entry to the OR this season and it was a mighty fine build I really enjoyed it um, the bow drive system is very very interesting lots of finicky little fiddly bits in there but this does look like a very very competent four-wheel drive buggy and then we have this beauty the top force evo I was never sure about this, never sure about it when I picked it up, but when I built it, I really like the look of it, it's really aggressive. The shocks are an absolute thing of beauty, loved building those shocks, absolutely fantastic. The high caps, very, very, very nice. Um, I'm not sure how this one sits, it seems to sit higher, and then when you push down the suspension it just sits a bit lower afterwards. Not sure how this is going to go. Another rookie entry to the Orchard Raceway for 2024. And the final entry. Let's go and see how these four buggies get on. So let's see what the Tamiya Hotshot can do around the Orchard Raceway. A nice tyre smash there to kick us off. And an opening lap of 9.47. It's not exactly setting the world alight. But then this is probably the oldest um, representation of vintage four-wheel drive that we've got on. 7.37, that's not a bad second lap. We're starting to get into the swing of it. 7.64, we're oh, stopping very suddenly. All that talk of last season and third place and everything I just said. And it went and did only three laps. 7.37, I think, was the fastest lap. Which does put it currently in first because it's the only one that's run. But let's be frank about it and let's be realistic about it. This is not going to win the 7.37. And even if it does, then the vintage four-wheel drives don't even deserve to be in the finale, to be quite frank about it. What went wrong? Well... My driving, possibly, but 
I think this buggy also carries an awful lot of weight at the front and it just was tipping forward. So when it was landing, that big bumper digs in and you can see it's got some dirt on the front where it landed and it just dug in on the front and that was the end of that. So unfortunately, the hotshot does not, well, I'm being very presumptuous, but I don't think this is going to make a, another finale, unfortunately. And, and we've got some bent headlights at the front now as a result of it all. Unlucky hot shot. Maybe next year will be your year. Or maybe a faster motor. Who knows? Right, who is next? Can the 2023 winner do better than we saw with the Tamiya Hotshot in the last set of laps? Off to a reasonable start, 7.57. This one seems to take that jump a lot better than probably any of the cars have done so far. It just looks so clean when it lands and, and kicks on. That's not a bad lap there, 6.7. We're starting to get better. That's already faster than the Hotshot. But a little demonstration there of how this car does tend to bite in around that bottom corner uh, and around no cherry tree turn. You've got to be careful that you don't roll it around that corner. This looks like another reasonable lap. 7.24. We're struggling to get up into the sixes on a consistent basis. 6.10. That is fastest so far around the Orchard Raceway for a vintage four-wheel drive. And that is only a tenth of a second off the DFO3 and three odd tenths of a second off the TTO2B, so we are back in contention with the Thunder Dragon, but stopped. Six point one zero for R two D two and the X Wing Thunder Dragon tribute. It's not a bad time, is it? So what do we get? We got. Uh, 6 with the DFO3, 5.9 with the TTO2B. It's not a million miles away. And I do think it's got a little bit more in it. I do think we are currently sitting top of the shop. This thing drives really nicely. Uh, it, it does have a tendency, though, when you're going around the corners, to do a little bit of this. And what you saw on that last lap, it did. It flipped over. And that's part of the problem with this. When you go into the corner too hot, it does traction roll and loses it. But we are currently in a really, really decent place with this. And I think it might be hard to beat. I don't know what I'm talking about because the other two are both rookies. I've never driven them before. So let's see how the Optima Mid gets on. <laughs> Here we go, it's been a long time coming. The Optima Mid takes the track. Not a good start there, but we will get the hang of it, I'm sure. First time driving this car at all out on the Ultra Raceway. And 6.5 is not a bad way to start. Now, the sound of this car is beautiful. Let me just let you listen to it for a minute. Sound of those bouts is just superb. But I can't seem to be getting this one going as quick as the Thunder Dragon at the moment. 6.47 and a 6.37. The lap times are starting to drop, but we're still a little bit off the pace that we saw with the Thunder Dragon. I do like the way this car is handling, but what I would say is it seems, I think whether the Kyoshos get higher geared, it seems to be carrying more speed, which is making taking that bottom no cherry two turns hard because it seems to be going wide. That was tighter. This is looking like a good lap. And it is 6.77. We're still not quite there. Can I get this one right? This is the final lap. Is it going to be better? Yes, it is.
on the last lap, it managed to pull out a 6.04 to send it top of the four-wheel drive table. But oddly, not as quick as the DF03 or the TTO2B. Now, yeah, okay, it's got a silver can. Oh, it's got a silver can on it, uh, I admit. And it, I don't know, I just got a feeling that should be quicker than that. I've got a feeling that this should be faster than a TTO2B on a torque tune. I just do. And I think it definitely should be quicker than the, the DFO3 with those slippy tyres that I had. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure whether the wheels are right or whether I've got the suspension set up correctly or whether the diffs aren't done properly. I don't know. It's just, it feels all right, but yeah, didn't pull it off, did we? So, well, <laughs> say that, but it is top of the vintage four-wheel drive, but it's not as quick as the modern four-wheel drives, which surprises me. Does it surprise you? Do you think I've set it up wrong? What should I be doing differently? I mean, it looks nice, doesn't it? But it is currently top of the leaderboard for the vintage four-wheel drives, but I was just expecting this one to be a bit quicker. One more to go. So our final buggy takes the track in the vintage four-wheel drive, the Top Force Evo, and gets off to a flyer 5.97. It has already gone fastest, and 5.87, it goes again, and that is the same time that we did with the TTO2B. Whoa, we've got a lap record, 5.8 seconds in the Top Force Evo. What a three laps to get us started. That is insane, and a tire smash, what more do you want? This is unbelievable. We are getting going on the Top Force Evo. And we're only five laps in. This is absolutely crazy. So we've had four laps that have been under uh, six seconds so far. And this looks good. It's another lap record. 5.74. What are we doing? Has this got a 5.5 in it? What do you think? Can I get in a five and a half seconds of the Top Force Evo around the track today? It looks like we're running out. I'm pushing it too hard. I don't think we've got a faster lap, but what an absolute start for this car's ultra raceway journey. Wow, literally impressive numbers. Woo! What an RC car this is. So, just to let you know, I mean, I'll put the table up here. 5.74 seconds. The fastest car ever to go around the Orchard Raceway. That is a lap record for any season. I mean, I've never, ever had a car go that quickly around the Orchard Raceway. It drove a lap record, the 5.8, on its second lap. I'd ever driven with the flipping thing. I mean, this thing almost drives itself. It's so so good. I am so impressed with this. If you have got one of these, you've never built one, never driven it, get yourself it built, drive it, it is something else. If you wanted one of these and you've been on the fence, just go and buy it. It's awesome. It's a fun build, but crikey, when you drive it, it's something else. It really is so good. Six out of the ten laps, under six seconds. It's insane. It is absolutely insane. There is no way this is getting beaten. No way. Absolutely. I'm saying it now. No way this is getting beaten. This will be the car that wins. It is unbelievable. As long as I drive it fine consistently, there's nothing better than this on the Orchard Raceway. I absolutely love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And it looks even better with those awesome wheels on. Thank you, Mini OAG. Good swap. But, oh, I'm just absolutely staggered. There's never been a car I've driven where I've actually felt that good driving it. 
and it just it just goes where you want it to. We have got, I'll tell you what, that has really opened it up. So in the finale, we've got this, the TT-02B, which is 5.9. We've got the DF, oh, no, the DT-03. And I can't remember what that did, was it 6.10? And then we've got the Cougar, which did a 6, or did it do a 5.9? I can't remember. Or did the TT-02B do 5.8? I'm confused. It's all getting a bit blurry, but let's be frank about it, right? We've got some awesome RCs in the finale. I'm leaving the Mad Bull out. The Mad Bull's not playing with these guys. It'd be a waste of time me running that car out again. I'm sorry if you're all you Mad Bull fans. If you like Mad Bulls, go and check out uh, H's video. He did a little video for me with the Mad Bull. Go and check that out. That's fun. But we are coming up to the finale, and we've got some awesome cars. The finale is going to be a shootout. So we're going to run four cars. One of those cars is going to come last. We're going to lose it. Then we're going to run three cars. And one of those cars is going to come last. And we're going to lose it. Then we're going to run two more cars. Whoever wins out of those two gets to go up against the Durga. Will it be these two? Or will it be the TTO2B? Or will it be the DTO3? Or will it be the Cougar? Who knows? Who knows? What I do know is that sat up here, not there, that's where the Durga is, but up here is the Orchard Raceway finale stack all together in one place. This is where they sit. You make the finale, you make your way up to the shelf, the, the second shelf. Not the top shelf. Top shelf is for something else that's up there. Those are the super, super naughty cars up here. The ones that I really, really enjoy building. But down here, these are the finale cars. TTO2B, Top Force Evo, Tamiya DTO3, and the Schumacher Cougar. Which one of those will pit its mitts against the Durga? You're going to have to find out on the Orchard Raceway finale in a few weeks' time. For now, thanks for watching. See you all soon. Bye for now.